I want to talk about the importance of yawning and sighing. It's such a simple thing that I hadn't thought about it before, but it's incredibly helpful for tinnitus, especially if you have fullness in the ear and you feel blocked and bunged up. So when we yawn, <laughs> what do we do? We open our jaw, we stretch our chewing muscles, and we open the eustachian tube, so you can often hear a clicking. And you can also sometimes hear a kind of purring sound. And this is the stapedius muscle holding the eardrum, kind of just quivering and freeing up. <sighs> and the wonderful thing about yawning is that it's just a release of tension and stress in all the structures that radically improve our sense of well-being in the auditory structures so ear jaw and the connection to the throat and sinuses so if you feel bunged up stressed out depressed irritated and just horrible in this area which is very common at first with tinnitus you can actually look at yourself in the mirror and just fake it to make it at the beginning so you just sort of <laughs> pretend yawns <laughs> and visually when we see and hear people yawning even if it is a mirror it, we actually start the yawning process we can trigger yawning and I bet some of you watching this are already starting to yawn or well, just really go for it especially if you've been tight and you can't sleep you can't let go it's a wonderful thing to start triggering a process of releasing and letting go and you start actually feeling tired and actually if you start to kind of rub your eyes and kind of like a child does when they go sleepy you start rubbing your eyes yawning rubbing your face a bit you can actually bring on sleep um, we're very programmable and we kind of go into sleep mode and you suddenly get a whoosh of tiredness coming up in which case go for it <laughs> the other thing is sighing is exactly the same thing but with the diaphragm here it, the diaphragm when we relax it pulls the air down and when we breathe out we actually push it up like this so when we breathe in the diaphragm drops down pulling the air in like a gigantic elastic band and if you're very tight and tense oh my god and angry urgh, you can walk around with an incredibly tense diaphragm so when we're stressed out ha oh, we're forever sighing ha oh, ha oh. um so sighing is also an absolutely fantastic wonderful way of releasing tension in the diaphragm in the intercostal muscles the whole thoracic cavity the way it holds the lungs the whole breathing response right the way through sighs are actually getting all this tension and just going huh so once again bring on sighs really fake sighing to start sighing if other people start sighing huh you may feel like sighing if you've got lots of sighs in you really let them come through really go for it and almost exaggerate it ha ah, obviously you can't do this um, in a crowded office but if you really make a noise and really have a big sigh and give yourself full permission to do these simple things actually they're incredibly powerful de-stressors and bring your activation level down free up all the essential structures that are very linked into the stress response and and just create a sense of uh, much more open space comfort relaxation and well-being which is really what we're looking for with tinnitus the bottom line is always feeling safe and comfortable inside our own space